welcome to communication engineering playlist here in this session i'll be going to explain you am generation by switching modulator so this session is about amplitude modulated signal generation by switching modulator so basically in this session i'll be explaining how switching modulator is functioning and then after we'll be deriving am signal based on switching modulator so here if you see this is the basic circuit which is there with switching modulator where here we have carrier signal that is connected in series with modulating signal mt and this is what we are connecting it with diode in series and then we will be having a generation of one signal that is v2t and then if we pass this v2t signal through band pass filter then we can have amplitude modulated signal so basically what we do is we connect carrier signal in series with modulating signal then we pass it through diode and then after whatever signal that we have that we pass it through band pass filter and then we'll be having amplitude modulated signal so let us see step by step what are the things which is happening inside and then at the end you will be able to understand how am signal is getting generated so here carrier signal that is connected in series with modulating signal so as it is connected in modulating signal resultant of this two series that will be v1t so ct means carrier signal and mt means modulating signal is connected in series so we can say v1t that is mt plus ct where ct is ac cos omega t you can consider even carrier signal as a sign there is no issue with that here i have considered it as ac cos omega t so this v1t that will be mt plus ac cos omega c t now see this v1 signal now that is passing through this diode and one more thing that we need to understand when this is what connected in series value of ct amplitude that is far greater than magnitude of mt so amplitude amplitude of ct is very greater than mt so this diode on and off that is been justified by carrier signal the reason is amplitude of carrier signal is very greater than amplitude of modulating signal so on and off that will get justified by carrier signal i will show you that how it is turning on that diode and turning off that diode so diode is on and off by ct only so ultimately you will be observing if this carrier signal that is greater than this v1t so in that case this diode is on and you will be getting output v2t that is equals to v1t so if carrier signal if i say it is positive in that case this diode will come in forward bias and whatever v1t that is there which will be getting transferred at load side so there are two cases that we need to understand one is whether ct is positive and second is whether ct is negative 
so if this carrier signal if it is positive then this v1t that will get transferred over here because of diode is getting on and if ct is negative in that case this diode will be off so output v2t that will be zero so if we see the graph in between v1t and v2t then it is purely based on carrier signal amplitude why the reason is carrier signal amplitude is very greater than modulating signal so diode will turn on and turn off by carrier signal amplitude so there are two cases first is ct is positive so if ct is positive means ct is greater than 0 so if ct is greater than 0 v1t that will come over here so ultimately graph in between v12 and v2t that will be straight line with slope is equals to 1 but if ct that is having negative value means if ct that is less than 0 so if ct is less than 0 diode will be off and if diode will diode is off output v2t will be 0 so you will be finding line is like this so ultimately v2t output that is varying in between 0 and v2 v1 t so here one can say output v2t that is v1 t where ct is positive means greater than 0 and v2t output that will be 0 in case of ct is negative it means it is 0 so that is how things are happening now see one thing that is very clear to all like how this diode is turning on based on value of carrier signal if it is positive then this v1t that will go to output and if this value of ct that is negative output will be zero so v2t that is varying in between v1t and zero periodically so with respect to some fixed period this output is changing with some pulse strain with respect to fixed period this output is getting change with fixed pulse strain and that is purely based on v1t periodically so we can say output v2t that is continuously getting repeated periodically so we can say it is v1t into let us say pulse strain is gp t so let us say this pulse strain at which it is getting repeated let it that is gp t now see that gp t that is a periodic pulse strain of duty cycle equals to half of the period so its duty cycle is t0 its pulse strain that is having width of t0 by 2 if i say at center its value is there then t0 by 4 over this side and t0 by 4 over this side will make its width to t0 by 2 and that is what keeps on repeating so that is the pulse strain by which this output is periodically received at v2t side so ultimately for this amount of pulse period v1t will get followed over here for this period output will be zero so that is what the basic meaning of it now see based on fourier series we can represent that gpt like this that is half plus 2 by pi summation n varies from 1 to infinite minus 1 raised to n minus 1 divided by 2n minus 1 into cos of 2n minus 1 omega ct now see let us make it in terms of calculation uh frequency points so if i reevaluate this in that case this will be half plus 
2 by pi. If I place 1 over here in this, then this will be minus 1 raised to 0. So that is 1. Divided by 2 minus 1. So that is even 1 into 2n minus 1. That is 1 omega ct. It means this will be cos omega ct. Now if you place value n is equals to 2, then there will be some term and this frequency component that will be 4 minus 1 means 3. So 3 omega ct. So there will be some odd harmonics. Now see I am not writing odd harmonics. The reason is those harmonics are having higher frequency and we don't need to use that over here. So I am just neglecting this right now. The reason is we don't need it right now. So now we have this GPT that is this and we usually neglect that odd harmonics. So now our output V2T now that that we can have it based on V1T that is MT AC cos omega CT into GPT that is this. So if I say this is equation 1, this is equation 2, let us say this is equation 3. So from equation 1, 2 and 3, we can say V2T that is V1T that is MT plus AC cos omega ct into gpt that is half plus 2 by pi cos of omega ct and plus some odd harmonics will be there plus some odd harmonics will be always there so right now we are not writing it neglect that neglect those odd harmonics right now for simplicity of calculation so now if we re-elaborate this, then this will be, let us multiply this with half. So mt by 2 plus this is ac by 2 cos omega ct plus now multiply this term with this. So this will be mt, sorry, 2 by pi mt cos omega ct plus 2 ac by pi into cos square omega ct. So that is what v2t now. Now see over here if we see this equation then this is modulating signal. This is signal or one can say modulating signal. If you see this term, so that is our AM wave. It is similar to AM wave signal. So this is AM signal. And if you see this term, so that is second harmonics. So this is second harmonic. Now see as I have told you, if you pass this V2T signal through bandpass filter, then you will be getting AM signal. So if I pass this V2T signal through bandpass filter, then my output YT after bandpass filter output yt now that will be ac by 2 into cos of omega ct plus 2 by pi mt cos omega ct that will be my output now see i'll represent this signal in terms of standard form so it will be more clear so if i represent this in terms of standard form then it will be AC by 2 into 1 plus I am taking AC by 2 cos omega ct common. So now this will be 4 by pi AC 4 by pi AC 
एम टी इन टू कॉस ओमेगा सी टी वेर दिस फोर बाई पाई ए सी दैट इज मॉड्यूलेटिंग इंडेक्स ऑफ दिस ए एम सिग्नल विच इज वॉट वी आर जनरेटिंग इट बाय दिस स्विचिंग मॉड्यूलेटर सो अल्टीमेटली दिस इज वॉट स्विचिंग मॉड्यूलेटर विच इज जनरेटिंग ए एम सिग्नल एंड दैट एंड दैट जनरेशन ऑफ ए एम सिग्नल दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन स्विचिंग मॉड्यूलेटर वेर स्विचिंग एलिमेंट इज दिस डायड सो दिस डायड इज स्विचिंग एलिमेंट एंड बाय दैट स्विचिंग एलिमेंट वी आर जनरेटिंग ए एम सिग्नल लेट अस हैव small brief about this so again it will be pretty clear to all like see how it is functioning see here carrier signal and modulating signal is in series so here v1 t that will be ct plus mt remember one thing carrier signal amplitude is far greater than modulating signal so this diode on and off operation that will be justified by carrier signal so if carrier signal is positive v2 t is equals to v1 t if this carrier signal is negative v2 t will be zero so v2 t is periodically vary in between v1 t and zero and that periodic variation that we are justifying based on gp t and that periodic time period of duty cycle of t0 by 2 it is like this and if you represent this gpt in terms of fourier series then that is gpt is equals to half plus 2 by pi summation of n varies from 1 to infinite and this term where we are just placing few har one harmonic only we don't use odd harmonics here the reason is that is having high frequencies so i'm just writing this equation to simplify that and if we place this gpt v1 t in v2 t formula then we will be having v2 t is equals to this and that is what combination of multiple signals where this signal that is modulating signal this is am signal and this is second harmonics now if you pass this signal through band pass filter you will be finding am signal amplitude modulated signal so this is what amplitude modulated signal and this is what i have represented in terms of standard form which is having modulating index that is 4 by pi ac so that is how we can generate am signal by switching modulator thank you so much for watching this video you can give me your valuable suggestions regarding all those video videos which i am placing here and you can suggest me those videos which is required to complete communication engineering if i have understanding based on your need definitely i'll place videos to sort out all those queries thank you so much for watching this video